good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this wide and wonderful world of ours. I have a question for you today, and that question is, does the colour of your teeth matter? My name is Victoria Rose and I am on location in Kalkan, Turkey. Now, I happen to know that it's a heck of a lot warmer in my city, Melbourne, Australia. 37 degrees Celsius today, 11 degrees here today. Hello, Tesli. Thank you for joining me today. So, Today is a really a quite in-depth live stream because I think it needs to be because it is about colour. I have three items, three elements around colour that I would like to discuss with you today because the whole three of them are so important. But the most important one is the third one because when we have a look at what's happening in our world today it's the third element i am going to discuss about colored today that is most important <laughs> i'm known as the queen of live stream i'm an early adopter of live streaming i am traveling all around europe i'm as i've said i'm currently in turkey if you want to catch up with my episode simply click the hashtag go live with Victoria or even better click the hashtag travel with Victoria Rose and Facebook will take you to a filtered page and there are all my posts videos everything that I wanted to share with you uh, so far I've been traveling for three months but let's talk about the first point. Oh, before I do that, I forgot to bring my heart. Uh, so here's my heart to you today. Heart, heart. <laughs> oh, here's the first point. Does the color of your teeth matter? Well, does it? What do you think? If it doesn't matter, why are so many people, men and women, and from all walks of life, why are they paying a lot of dollars to go and get their teeth whiter? What is it about the white teeth? Well, here's the thing about having white teeth. It certainly helps you look fresher, possibly younger, because there's no doubt that as we age, our teeth either yellow or they go grey. And as I posted recently, the dentist that I'm seeing here in Kalkan, Turkey, told me the other day, actually, first he said my teeth were yellow. So I thought, oh, yellow teeth. And then he said, oh, your teeth are actually grey. And I'm going, oh, grey teeth. So what does that mean when you have yellow, but more than likely grey teeth? That's what happens as you age. Have a look around at your friends. Have a look around at your own teeth. And you will notice that as you age, your teeth do go grey. And I much prefer grey to yellow. So what does that mean? Well, people are doing all sorts of things these days to look younger because that's what our society does, doesn't it? It uh, adores youth and does not seem to respect and honour the elderly, the elders of our time, because that's what I call us. Over 60 still fabulous. We are the elders of our time. So, so what does that mean? Well, people inject poison into their face, men and women, so that the wrinkles don't show, go and have facelifts, do all sorts of things to stop the advancement of time. But here's the truth around all that. The colour of your teeth, ultimately, the colour does not matter. It's a third point that I want to make today.
that really matters. And you can have as white a teeth as you want. Oh, by the way, doesn't that look horrible? I was watching, I was at the hairdressers here in Kalkin the other day. They had the TV on and there's this announcer and she opened her mouth and it was like the sun was shining, this neon white bright. No, no, no. <laughs> if all you can see when someone's talking to you is the whiteness of their teeth, then it's too bright. So I'm coming to you today with my grey teeth. <laughs> now, my dentist is in there looking in my mouth with the light so he can see the grey colour. It's not all that obvious to other people, apparently. So how do I maintain the colour? All I do is every second um, uh, clean, and sometimes more than that, I clean my teeth with bicarbonate of soda and I just wet that, wet my toothbrush and dip it in. And that seems to be the thing that's helping me maintain my grey white teeth. <laughs> but let's get on to the second point, the second point that I want to make today around colour. And the second point quite clearly is does the color of your skin matter? Wow, what a crazy world we live in. There we have people who are white, let's just use that color, uh, and they spend a lot of time lying out in the sun to get brown. And then we have a lot of people who are not white, and they spend a lot of money, invest in uh, chemicals and expensive things to do to be white. Now, we have a comment here from Desley. Ah, oh, yes, here we go. So Desley's got a great comment here, add to broadcast. So Desley, if you are a talker like me, and you, oh, she means me, a decent coloured teeth, everyone notices because that is where people look like our hair. <laughs> oh, that is so true, Desley. I do have to say that the most popular post out of all the posts that I do, exciting things around where I'm living and what I'm doing and, and what I've uh, experience the good, the bad and the ugly. Did you get episode 7 around the ugly whilst I've been on my travels? And the one that got the most comments and the most likes was the one showing my haircut. <laughs> I love that haircut. The last two haircuts have totally destroyed any styling that uh, was put, that Mika from Opatia put into my hair. But that's the joys of travel. Great point, Desley, and so true. Let's go back to point two, which is the color of your skin. If you're white, you want to lay out and look brown. Not everyone, but it is still a common theme. By the way, I don't buy into the sun gives you cancer. It's like anything if you overdo it if you have too much alcohol you've got a problem too much sugar you've got a bigger problem so it's about being respectful with the sun and the truth is that without the sun we'd all die let's just treat the sun with respect so the color of the skin I watched a movie last night up there in Islamla, my mountain village in uh, Turkey, and I watched again The Constant Gardener. Now, when I, I saw that when it first came out, I must say I probably didn't grasp things about that movie that were really important. I think it's been out for about a decade and a half, I'm not sure. However, how could I miss why it's called The Constant Gardener for a start? And all of the things around the state of our world, because nothing's changed, guys. Uh, the colour of the skin is a huge determining factor in how people are treated. <laughs> but you know what? Even more important than the colour of your skin is the third point. And I'm just going, actually, do you know what I'll do? I'll show you where I am. This is just such a gorgeous spot. 
here. Here we go. This is Kalkan Harbour. Isn't that beautiful? Yay! I am so, so happy to be on this journey that I'm on to experience all that's happening in different parts of the world and part of that is also to appreciate what we have in Australia and how lucky we are to be Australians, to be living there even though we whinge and moan and groan and, uh, and have good reason to but at least we can protest and make our emotions known, which leads me into the third point. This third point is the most important point. Oh, hi, Shona. Yes, honestly, it is just so stunning here. I just love it. And I recommend if ever you're in Turkey, come down to the turquoise coast and the Aegean Sea. You will love it here. I guarantee it. So let's get to that third point. And that third point is the color of your emotion. Emotion is energy in motion. Emotion. Looks, let's have a look. What does Desley say? Looks a special place. Oh, thank you, Desley. It truly is a very special place. Uh, so and my emotion around living here, you can tell I'm feeling pretty good about that, feeling very happy. So what do I mean when I say the most important element around colour is the colour of your emotion? So going back to the constant gardener, which I saw up in the mountain village last night, and I really, really got the emotion that was so obvious in that movie and the emotion was hate it was cruelty it was nastiness it was greed um, and so what I say is it doesn't matter what color their teeth are no come on it really doesn't and it doesn't matter what color their skin is does it but it does matter what color their emotion is you know, I am a science fiction fan. People that follow me know that. And in one of those science fiction stories about the future of our species, I'm not that confident we've got one. But anyway, I do enjoy reading what people think will happen in our future. And one of the stories was all around the fact that your thoughts will be Seen. You know how you see those animated things where people's thought bubbles above their head, what they're thinking is apparent? Well, in this story, that started to happen. People just became so aware that they were able to see what people were thinking, sort of like a thought bubble above their head. So if someone was having dark thoughts because the color of their emotion was dark, was black, then you could see that. Oh, can you imagine what a difference that would make to our world? No one any longer would be able to fool you with their smooth tongue, with their double speak, with their slippery words on how to get you to do something that they want you to do but isn't ultimately to your good. So it's the colour of the emotions. So what emotion do you feel how is the emotion affecting you are you someone who constantly whinges are you someone who can only see the dark side the negative things do you focus on what is going wrong in your life and there's no doubt that the more you focus on what is going wrong in your life the more you will see so it's not even about positive thinking, guys. It is about, <laughs> it is about really looking at the color of our emotions. And if it's dark, if it's cruel, cruelty, 
is unnecessary in our world. It's not a necessary act and way to behave. There's a lot of cruelty in that constant Gardner movie and we don't need cruelty. How does that make you feel? Cruelty, bullying, nastiness, jealousy, hate, all of those dark emotions. That's the colour that matters. I don't care about the colour of your skin. I don't care about the colour of your teeth. What I do care about is your colour. Now, some people call that an aura. And of course, it can be the aura as well. So what colour is your aura? Let's have a look, though, at when you have dark emotions, it totally, totally changes your view of the world. Don't do that to yourself because the only one that's doing that to you is you. <laughs> so that's my message for this live stream is colour does matter and it matters most when you are looking at your emotion, your energy in motion, what colour is it? Get the dark out of your life. You can do it. My name is Victoria Rose. Please go ahead and like my page, Over 60, Still Fabulous. I have another page called Go Live with Victoria. I am here on a mission to show women who are over 60, they are still fabulous unless they don't think they are because your emotion around who you believe you are absolutely creates your reality. It's in your hand. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> that means you can change it. It's not in someone else's hands. Please do not put the key to your happiness in someone else's pocket. <laughs> Thank you for the replay viewers. Thank you for watching this live stream. I'll be back next. Today's not Thursday, it's Friday. But remember, in Turkey, we have issues sometimes with internet and we have issues sometimes with electricity. I'll be back next week, Thursday or Friday, whenever I can make it. Thank you to Desley and to Shona for being part of my live stream today and to the replay viewers. Over 60, are we still fabulous? Yes. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. It won't finish. <laughs>